demand, I have managed to find a local flying tiger store and do you another summer video. So I went around the shop and I found lots of items that are specifically sensory related and great for the summer holidays. Now, there's loads of other things in there and you probably will find them on the other videos that I've done because many of their items stay there all year round. It's only a small selection of their items that actually change each season. So some of the things this time that I've got are just brilliant. So the first one that I really want to show you is this. So summer, trying to think of activities, games, things that we can do. It's got these brilliant Velcro balls where you can either use it as a target for numbers or you can use it almost like a dartboard and it's brilliant because it it sticks to it and I think that's so good great for visual seekers great for people that need to be having activities constantly um, provided for them they can do it for themselves it's really rewarding because it sticks and so there's that sense of achievement as well Great for proprioceptive input, so for people who may throw things really firm, when they throw that ball, it's going to stick to that ball, to the board. Um, really, really good for numbers as well. So if you are wanting to do slightly more educational activities, then I think that's really, really good, good fun activity to take with you. And it's quite small, so you could put it in your backpack when you're going away as well. Now, other things, if we're thinking about the summer holidays, activities while travelling. So it might be that you're going on a plane, going on holiday. It might be that you're getting the train or the bus or even the car. So a couple of things that I found that might be really handy for car journeys are this water colouring book. So lots of pictures, comes with a pen and then you colour in as you colour in with the pen then the colour shows behind it. Now the pen you have to fill up with water but that means it's great mess free so great for people who don't like getting messy so that tactile defensiveness, great for visual seekers because they're finding that colour and pattern beneath what they're doing and their colouring to be able to get that. So lots of different sensory aspects relating to that and really, really rewarding. There's lots of different pictures and this is a, a jungle one, but there were, um, I think there was a transport one as well. When you're colouring that water then dries and so then you can do it again. So it's something which will continue for you to be able to use. So that's a really handy thing. And then the other one that I found was this little book, which is Spot the Difference. Great again for visual seekers, great for people who like to focus on an activity and really engage in that. So finding the difference visually in that is really, really rewarding. Great for people who might avoid loud situations. So it's a very quiet activity, it doesn't create lots of sound, lots of noise either. Maybe when you find the five um, missing, five differences, that's when you have a good old cheer. Woo! Um, but otherwise, it's a very quiet activity. Like I said, for the other one, not creating a mess. So it might be that you use a pencil, it might just be that you point to the differences that you find on each page. So I think that's a really good activity to have as well for young people. A few other things, so I've got another creative one and it's a, a set of stamps. So I've mentioned in videos before about stamps and stamps are really good because we're using that body awareness, we're using our proprioceptive sense in order to be able to do it. So when you're pushing down, you're using the feedback from your joints and your muscles to be able to do that. It's a lot more rewarding for people that might find those fine motor skills like drawing and colouring quite difficult, but you can still be creative and create pictures with these stamps. And these stamps, are there's nine of them and they're all holiday themed. So you've got transport you've got a train you've got an aeroplane you've got a sunshine you've got a suitcase and some sunglasses so really really exciting and, and a good activity to help prepare as well for going away
Again, doesn't create lots of sound, great for visual seekers, great for people who don't like getting messy unless they end up stamping it all over themselves, which I'm sure you will know if your child likes to get messy or not. Great for that proprioceptive input as well. So it's a really, really fun activities that are also really portable for you to be able to take away with you. Now, a few other things, if we're still thinking about traveling, is I found this little pouch and in here is little flamingos on it. In here is an eye mask. So eye masks are great for people who are hypersensitive to visual information. So being able to have something to reduce that visual intensity, visual maybe glare or reflection or sensitivity to artificial lighting or maybe even the sunshine. So the reason why I wanted to show you this was because it does come in its own little pouch and we know if we have items available for people to access, whether it's in their bag, whether it's in your bag, whether it's in their lunch bag, but somewhere it's gonna to help to reduce that anxiety when going to new places, being uncertain about how noisy or how bright or how busy that place is going to be. So just by having this in your bag, it's a really, really small pouch, but for people who are sensitive to visual information, something like this can really, really help them to feel a lot more happier and, and secure in the activities they're going to be doing. Now, a couple of other things that I've got. Summertime, again, great for exploring, great for finding um, new things, new skills. It's a kaleidoscope. I love kaleidoscopes. They're so simple, but so effective. Great for visual seekers. Does create a sound, um, very little tactile input, smell, proprioception, I'm learning where my body is in space. But also when we turn the kaleidoscope, we're thinking also about that development of our visual processing and we're learning that our environment's 3D and physical, but also our vestibular sense and that idea and concept of movement and our relationship with gravity with that movement. So kaleidoscope, really, really cool thing to have and especially really exciting for visual seekers. Another couple of little play toys that you can carry around with you. I found this little uh, robot which does a little dance. Now, does create noise so not great for people who are hypersensitive to sound great for imaginary play i've done some videos this summer about different kinds of play that we can start to explore for people with sensory processing difficulties but just a fun little toy to to have great for those fine motor skills that proprioceptive input as well for my fingers and my joints um and watching it then move around on the table is really really fun as well Another thing is a massage ball, so it's a really hard ball, again, great for that body awareness. If you know someone who is banging things, clapping things, pushing things, because they're looking for that body awareness, something like this can be really, really great. So rolling it between their hands before eating or before doing those hand-based activities where you might otherwise notice them banging or clapping their hands can be really good. Rolling it under their feet if you notice that they're stomping um, or jumping. Rolling it on their body if you notice that they're sitting in funny positions, maybe sitting right on the edge of the seat because they can't quite feel where their body is. This can be a really handy thing for them to have and explore and it's really small so again it's something that you can take away with you. Now, for me, one of the most exciting things about the summer is we see more people getting outside. When I was little, I was one of those children that went into the garden, got really muddy, got really messy, and just loved playing outside. So I found this stretchy, gooey centipede, which, oh, I just think that's really cool and to have that with you again on journeys you've got that fidgety element to it so that tactile that proprioceptive input that we know helps to reduce anxiety and helps people to concentrate as well by me doing something with my hands it really does help me process the information that I'm hearing and and listening to and seeing 
I might otherwise chew on my pen, I might chew on my fingers, whatever it is, but by having something like this can be really, really great. And it's a it's a gooey bug. Who wouldn't want to play with a gooey bug? So um, that's a really cool item. And with that, I found this bug jar. So it's got a magnifying glass in the top, you can collect a bug or go to the beach and you've got a shell inside and you can have a look through the magnifying glass at that object. Again, great for visual seekers, great for learning about the world and the objects that we find in our environment. Great for people who don't like getting messy or, or find certain textures overwhelming because we can contain it within something. So if you've collected a shell or some sand, you can put the sand in there and you can have an explore visually rather than worrying about it getting on your hands and, and the rest of your body and your clothes. Really, really handy. It's got a little handle as well. And I know so many people who would love that and they'd probably collect bugs in there just to have a good close up look of the bug before putting them back into the garden. But think about non-living items as well. So leaves are so interesting. So if you've got a visual seeker looking at the patterns on a leaf or a flower, or like I said, at the beach, you've got the shells, you've got the sand. So really, really cool thing. Also, it can be a container to carry things in so you could put your toys in there that you're taking to the beach or you're taking to your friend's house and so they're all in there and then the last thing that I've got that I want to share with you is this money purse that I found however I wasn't thinking of it as being a money purse now you could put things inside it it zips are undone nicely but I was actually thinking of it As a nice little drum so that great auditory input so if you are um, supporting someone or if your child is an auditory seeker having something which you can carry around with you that creates that auditory sound or they can explore the auditory sound of that object it's going to be really supportive of it. It's something they can control. So if someone's hypersensitive to sound by making a sound themselves, it helps them to regulate out all the other sounds that they might find difficult to process. So that is something which might not necessarily be used as the purse, as it's sold as, but actually can be a really exciting auditory um, tool as well. So those are some of the things that I saw this year in Tiger. Let me know if you found things. I always love seeing what you found and sharing them with other people. But otherwise, I hope you have a great summer. Don't forget about all of our online resources. We've got training, we've got downloads, we've got play ideas, we've got books. There's so much that you can find. But otherwise, Follow me on social media, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you get alerts every time that I post a video on there and help me to spread knowledge and awareness of sensory processing difficulties so we can help to make society a lot better at understanding different people's needs.